So this week, this past week in our studio, we had two very talented writers um, on set over here as part of the show, Italian American Writers. It's true. It's true. It's one of the benefits of working in a TV studio is you get a lot of interesting people coming through here. And we have a clip for you just now. Uh, and if you want to catch the full program, keep an eye out on our website for further details. Enjoy the clip. A point where his father dies. Yes. What was the feeling of his father? Well, when his father dies, uh, he, it's, it's, a transformation takes place in Francesco's mind. Uh, uh, he begins to see himself as he really was. He, he's, he begins to see himself as uh, incapable of loving. Of course, now this comes in from nowhere. It, the right. moment we open the book, it comes in. This is and how we that's start. a cook describing Kara's... Exactly. She was like a fire. I stood at the kitchen door, watching. Even above the clatter and chatter of the kitchen, I heard her. The drumming, like the constant knocking on a door that refused to open, like the beating of an angry heart that was about to explode only different, persistent, yet in perfect rhythm, rising and falling like anxious breath, swelling then subsiding like the ocean. I was drawn to the doorway, held fast there. Her movements were so rapid that her hands were little more than a blur, moving from drum to cymbal back to drum again in a flash, as thoughtlessly as other people breathe as swiftly as a flame engulfs a house or a tree, that's the way she moved, as though it were natural, organic, as easy and effortless as walking, because for her, it was. So this, I, I wanted to give an impression of Kara from the get-go, from somebody else, not from her saying, oh, I'm the world's greatest drummer, but from somebody watching her being drawn to her.